Introducing the Milkmaid 2005. This is a standard uh, um, repair um, video. Um, what we what we typically send with the video, it's a standard repair kit. Three thermal grease packets and four crimp nuts, a module, and a fan. Now, to repair the unit, there are four screws on the back on the top plate, two in the back, two in the front. Simply remove those. And lift the entire well as well as the top plate off. Put that to the side. On the back, you will have six screws, and for simplicity, we've removed four of them. And lay the back plate down. Inside, there are two screws which releases the heat sink. This is the heat sink. And what we're replacing today is this module that is sandwiched between this extender block made of aluminum that goes through this back wall and the heat sink which you see in the back unit. So we simply take the screws out. You need a stubby nose Phillips to do this. No. Okay, once the two screws are released from the inner well, as you can see, the back plate comes off and the well may stay in place or may fall. Now, what we've done is we've cut the two wires coming from the Pelche module and we've already spliced them to two wires from the old Pelche module. All you need to do is strip the insulation, twist the wires, put the crimping nut on, and crimp it with a crimping tool. Once that's done, just make sure when you're replacing the module, You replace all the grease. As you can see here, we've just put new grease on. All new grease should be applied. All the old grease should be wiped off and new grease should be applied. Put the module down. Put the block back on. Put the screws in. Hand tighten the screws down. When they are slightly down, rotate back and forth, applying equal pressure to each screw so that you don't break the module. Once they are tight, just alternate between screws till they are tight but not taut. You don't have to make it so tight that they're There you have it. Clean this surface off, apply the third packet of grease to this surface, and if you can, a little bit to that. All the old grease should be removed. Now that the grease is evenly distributed over the, over the block, slide that back in with the wires facing the transformer side, which is right here. Insert your screws. Make sure that these screws are tight. You can, you can torque these down tightly so that there's intimate contact between the cold plate and the extender block. To replace the fan, 
There are four screws with nuts. Remove the nuts and screws. Cut the wire halfway again from the capacitor. Strip the, the insulation off. Apply the new wires with the corresponding colors. And again, you'll be supplied two crimping nuts, which you can crimp the wires, reapply the screws. The unit is basically fixed from there. Reassemble using the screws. Thank you.